What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here. And today I am finally taking these passion twists out of my head. Can I get an amen? So guys, I'm so ready to get these passion twists out of my head. I'm gonna link two videos down in the description box for you guys. One of the videos is gonna be the video of me when I was installing this hair. And the other video is gonna be the pros and cons of Amazon hair versus name brand hair. This is Amazon hair and Personally, I did not like it as much as I like the free dress hair. And if you want to know why, go ahead and find out in the other video. There are definitely pros and cons, but yeah. Go watch the other video if you want to know tea. So originally when I installed this hair, I installed them and they were really long and then I cut them. Because I cut them, they started to unravel all over the place. Like, there, there are twists in here holding on by... Liter look, look. <laughs> I wasn't joking. I was not joking. <laughs> it was just a matter of time before one of these fell out on the street. So what I'm going to do is take all of my twists out, but instead of going into a regular wash day routine, I'm actually going to do something really interesting. So stick around to see how I'm going to get my wash day routine started. And let me go take these out of my head. My natural hair is back. I feel so free. I'm just itching my scalp and like not even worrying about twists falling down on the ground. Okay, so yeah, I look a little bit crazy right now because you know, my hair is all like twisted up, almost like these little dreads. Okay, so let's now get into my wash day idea. Let me go get it. I just had a better idea. Why don't I let my Instagram followers choose my wash day for me? It is the next day and I got the results in from my Instagram followers. So they chose Bentonite Clay, TGIN Honey Mask, Mayel Organic Styler, Felicia Leatherwood Brush, and Grapeseed Avocado Oil Mix as the wild card. So Bentonite Clay won by landslide. So did TGIN Honey Mask. Um, Mayel Organic was pretty much up there. But for Tool, originally it was a tie between White Tooth Comb and Felicia Leatherwood Brush until I noticed that someone voted twice. I gotcha. So let's go mix the bentonite clay right now and then I'll get into my wash day. So for bentonite clay, there's no rules except that you cannot use any metals. It's gonna ruin the composition of the bentonite clay. So I'm using plastic all around. And basically all you wanna do is just mix it to a consistency that's right for you. So this is how much clay I have so far. I'm gonna start with a little, add some water, work my way up. Okay, so I'm all done mixing. Obviously how much you need is gonna depend on how much hair you have. I think this should be good for me. So if I scrape it all to one side, this is how much I have. And I think the consistency is pretty good as well. So what I'm gonna do now is detangle my hair. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how the bentonite clay turns out. Hey guys, so I just finished washing my hair with the bentonite clay as per your request. I only used bentonite clay, I didn't use anything else. So let's see how this turned out. It is very, very wet still. If you don't know the benefits of bentonite clay already, I will put them here on the screen. But one main thing that it does is pop your curls. So I literally only use bentonite clay. I put it in my hair and I washed it out and that was it. I didn't do anything else. So thank you for choosing bentonite clay because I just feel like I'm too lazy to choose bentonite clay for myself on an off day. Um, so, you know, it did kind of force me to have to get popping curls. So thank you. So now I'm going to detangle, but only using a Felicia Leatherwood brush, not using my fingers, not using white tooth comb, not using, what was the other option? Deadman brush, just using my Felicia Leatherwood brush, which is totally fine with me. This is best case scenario anyways. And then after I detangle, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask, 
which is all sorts of goodness. Um, if it was a regular wash day, would I use this? Probably not just because this is such a great product and it's so thick and it's so expensive and it's so good that I don't want to just use it You know flippantly. It's just amazing. It's just it's a lot of goodness So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then wash it out Um, I have my bathrobe draped, draped. I have my bathrobe draped over me because my hair is literally still dripping. Here we are. Okay, before you ask questions about why I look like Coolio, what you need to know is that I, I twisted my hair up when I put the conditioner in it and I left them in twists um, when I washed them out. So that way it retains more um, of the conditioner, a little bit more moisture. And because I'm not using a leave-in conditioner today, I didn't wash out my hair extremely thoroughly. I kind of let them hold on to a little bit of the conditioner. So we have the balance grapeseed and avocado oil mix um thank you for voting this as a wild card because i don't know what i would do if i had no oil right now i mean the tgin leaves my hair like really moisturized and nice but it's just really good to know that i'm going into my style with an oil i think i can i think i can take this off now and then you voted for the mile organics pomegranate twisting souffle as my styler which is like the best option because this gives me an amazing hold so what i'm going to do right now is take all of my twists out and i'm actually going to put my hair into braids using the oil and the twisting souffle as my stylers twists are out i love how full and soft my hair feels guys when i took it out of the passion twist it felt so moisturized so just a reminder if you are doing a protective style make sure that your hair is moisturized under it so that when you come out of the protective style and you go into washing your hair or doing something else you're not having problems so let's get into this braid out i'm gonna go with the loc method today which is liquid or leave-in for l O is oil, C being cream, using the water that was just in my hair as my liquid, as well as the, the conditioner that I didn't fully, fully, fully wash out is kind of acting as a leave-in right now. So I'm good in that department. I'm going in with the grapeseed avocado oil mix as my oil. And then after I'm done putting that in, I'm going to go in with the Myel Organics for my cream or my styler. Look, look how heavy it is. That's how sticky and tacky it is. It's not going anywhere. All right, so I have one braid. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish braiding the rest of my hair and then we will see the results of your personalized wash day for me. Okay, so I think that you guys did pretty well for me. You guys, really really came through with the bentonite clay the mayel all of that kind of stuff make sure that you follow me on instagram so that you never miss another fun challenge like this i think my hair turned out pretty good like look at this definition definition is on point so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it yet i might brush it out or i might wear it in some kind of style um i'll figure that out later anyways guys make sure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed already and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one